GameStop is making headlines in the news again. The recent announcement of their NFT platform caused their stock to rise 30% in after hours, eventually closing out the day with a 7% gain. Personally, I'm not really a fan of NFTs, specifically when JPEGs are being sold as quote-unquote art, but unfortunately it seems like NFTs are here to stay for a while. I just want to cover a few things that I found while researching this and what I think it means for the future of GameStop and gaming as a whole. So first of all, they released a new website. As you scroll down, you get this little cool animation of this GameStop game cartridge going into a Game Boy type device. And at the very bottom, that's where we find the important part. If you click that little link at the bottom, it takes you to the creator form, which is essentially an application to work on NFTs through their platform. Asif Khan of Shack News generously compiled the list of the questions they ask you. And honestly, as somebody who doesn't like NFTs whatsoever, I find that going through a process and weeding out creators that are just there for money grabs is definitely the way to go if you want to pursue something like this. No matter what type of market your company is deciding to delve into, it's almost always a good idea to have some form of quality control, and they're definitely showing it here. What this also shows is GameStop is pretty serious about this. I'm sure there's going to be some form of GameStop NFT being launched, but they want to make an entire platform based around NFTs and buying and selling them. As a kid growing up, I always went to GameStop for my games. That was just the destination if you wanted a new game, a new Assassin's Creed, a new Halo. And watching them go through a rebrand like this is extremely interesting to me. I like to think of myself as a pretty neutral party when it comes to all this. I never invested in GameStop stock or anything like that. But going from a brick and mortar store to an online NFT platform is definitely a change that's going to take a while. I really hope they use this platform responsibly. As a company, I do like GameStop, even though despite all the memes of, oh, we'll buy your game back for $5 when you spent 60 it's a very big nostalgia point for a lot of people. And maybe they're going to be the company that changes a lot of people's minds on NFTs and does it responsibly. However, overall, I'm unsure on how this is going to affect gaming. I really hope they don't pull a Ubisoft courts and try to launch skins for random games. It's just not a good look. But love them or hate them, NFTs are making their way into our space. And the best thing I think I can do and we as a community can do is just learn about it and form our opinions in an educated manner. I will say again, I think NFTs are stupid. I do not like them. But blowing off trends just because you think they're stupid does nothing for anybody. Always keep an open mind when it comes to most things in life. On the internet, it's very easy to get trapped into an echo chamber. What keeps a community alive and healthy is people forming their own opinions. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. It helps a lot more than you'll ever know. And that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching.